The Tesla Model S P85D has two major headlines around it. First of all, dual motors, which predicates all-wheel drive. And secondly, you've got some autonomy or autopilot technology. Let's run them down quickly. Now, a Model S traditionally had a single motor at the rear driving those wheels. These new D cars add a second motor at the front to drive those wheels to the tune of 188 horsepower at each end. If you get a P or performance model like we have, the rear motor gets bumped way up to 470 horsepower and the front a bit higher to 221 for a massive 691 total. That gets this nearly 5,000 pound car to 60 in just 3.2 seconds. Range is down but only slightly from a standard rear wheel drive Model S. That means adaptive cruise that maintains speed and distance to other cars, along with the ability to come all the way to a full stop and resume. To be honest, nothing other cars didn't have a couple years ago. Ditto this car's new ability to read speed limit signs and alert you to the correct speed. Now, highway lane changing is interesting. You can do it by just signaling. Our car currently just does the acceleration part for you, but automatic lane change steering is coming as well. Self-parking in a Tesla means the car not only parks in a spot that you pull alongside of, but eventually will bring itself out of that spot and to you, at least on private property. Now, Autopilot is Tesla's name for what will eventually become full self-driving, but which is coming now in phases of driver assist. These P85Ds, which are top of the stack performance dual motor models, are coming in at around 106,000 base, and then we would add about another $8,000 in options, but due to the almost $10,000 in tax credits available, at least here in California, we end up actually below the MSRP, but still not a cheap car. This technology will also be very interesting as we see the all-wheel drive get much more accessible in the coming Model X.